Hi everyone, uh, so this is uh, something special. I got a lovely rack from Fiona uh, with items that she sells uh, in her shop. And um, well, you all know I'm not that uh, keen on uh, doing shabby chic kind of things and white and pink are not my colors, uh, well not in this style anyway. But um, I accepted a kind of a challenge to make uh, something in my own style out of these uh, beautiful um, gifts. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, what I'm going to use, so, some of it I'm going to use. Uh, uh, for example, that pink uh, lace that you just saw. Um, and uh, she sent me a whole bunch of it and I'm going to work with uh, those those laces they are well absolutely stunning um, and uh, you can change uh, everything in uh, your own style in your own color any way you like so it's not a huge problem that things are not in your color or not the things that you like that much so um, Fiona, your doll, um, and I especially love all these little bits and pieces, and I think that's that's nice. And buttons, uh, I'm collecting them. <laughs> I've got a lot of buttons, and um, I will use these uh, little um, uh, bling thingies as well, um, and some of these. Um, I don't know how you call them, flat bat pearls or something like that. String pearls are, I don't know really, but. I've got a lot of it and I really enjoy using these in mixed media product, uh, projects. I've done it a lot of times and uh, these are so, so useful. And I really love that uh, lace. I, 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 don't, I think I showed it, but look, that, the shimmer. I'm not going to use that. But I'm going to keep it as it is because it's so, so beautiful. I'm going to save it up for something special. Now, these huge large buttons, I really like them. So I'm using them definitely. I'm using that butterfly and you see me break it. Don't be scared. It will all be fine. If you watch this video until the end, then you will see what I made out of it. So I am um, using that butterfly, <laughs> of course, on the project. And then you uh, know that Fiona sells uh, uh, all these grab bags of uh, little bling things as well. And uh, I really love this. There are a lot of things in it, and I'm going to use the white flowers. And um, I love these cabochon kind of uh, things as well. I'm not going to use these ones because they, those are gorgeous. <laughs> you can see I thought I'm making a ring out of it. So I'm going to use this and a lot of other stuff to make something pretty. So keep uh, keep watching and uh, stay tuned. So let's get started. Um, this is a ready-made, no, 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 um, make it your own book, <laughs> kind of like that. And um, uh, it tells you step by step uh, what to do. Um, you know, of course, uh, most of you know uh, what to do. So I skipped uh, a lot of it uh, because it's that easy. Um, so you see me put uh, the cover together and um, I am gluing it quite good with uh, this uh, uh, tacky glue because I don't want it to uh, well go anywhere uh, and um, uh, so I am making it secure as I can now and then I uh, needed to find out what I wanted to use so I took all the things that I got from Fiona and I um, well was looking through it and I thought well I'm gonna work with this and I think I've used almost everything except for the um, large blue button and uh, this uh, pink lace is uh, well uh, used up no not entirely but quite a lot of it is used up um, now um, first we of course we have to uh, prepare uh, the cover and uh, I'm putting some gesso uh, on here uh, I didn't bother gessoing the inside that was not necessary because I, I was going to paint it and the book was going to go in the papers so no problem um, I think I might use uh, a heavier gesso I have to buy me uh, some because this was very thin um, and that really doesn't matter for uh, what I'm doing with it now but if I was going to put a lot of wet media on it then it would not be and not be um, enough to prevent it from seeping in th 
through the uh, cardboard so but for now it will work so here are the butterfly uh, wings uh, and I'm colorizing them of course otherwise it won't fit with the color scheme that I'm going for and um, so I think I used a uh, sailboat blue uh, butterscotch and denim um, this was just first layer I will um, uh, well fix it and do it uh, um, uh, make it more prettier later on. Oh, I was uh, distracted by something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, now, done with that, putting it aside, let it dry, and you know it's quite dr uh, it dries quite quickly, so no problem there. Going back to the cover, and now I'm going to glue, glue down all these pieces of that lace. I cut the these strings of the lace to use it, and I'm uh, having a little bit of a pattern, but well, it's not much thinking uh, about where to put it. Um, I have a very bad uh, glue gun. It runs and it's, well, it's a cheap one and I really need uh, to buy myself a new one, a good one. Uh, because this leaves a lot of glue strings. Very annoying. But we manage. So I'm gluing down all the pieces of lace uh, and covering, well, a large part of the, the book. So not too careful because you can't see anything in the end because we're going to paint it. So uh, no trouble there. Now I'm going to put down these lovely uh, white flowers. Uneven number as always because that's just more pretty and uh, measuring this I think it's flat back pearl thing string thing something like that well you can see what it is so I don't have to explain it um, now first uh, I'm going to glue down that beautiful thin uh, delicate lace um, I should have done that first but I just thought of it now <laughs> so I was uh, uh, using a uh, gel medium, uh, heavy gel medium from Liquitex, it, it holds virtually everything. So um, now I'm decorating even more. Um, I'm putting everything on. The colors really don't matter because I'm going to paint it, as you know. So, and I really love that those those uh, sticky uh, pearls uh, because I use them a lot. As as do uh, I use the as do I use. Um, as much as I used <laughs> that pearl uh, string thing. Oh, English is hard. So, I'm cutting off all the excess and gluing down uh, every string of that lace. Now, front and back are done. Now, putting everything aside and uh, putting a little bit more of that crystal stickers pearl things on. They are self-adhesive but uh, I just need to make sure it stays where I want it. So I'm using um, beautiful paints, um, acrylic paints uh, in blue, in a dark uh, green and a teal blue and uh, an ochre, a mustard ochre kind of color. Um, randomly coloring it. You saw me spritz a little bit water to make it a bit more runny because it needs to seep uh, underneath the flowers uh, as well. So I'm just painting. No special thought behind it just slap it on <laughs> and uh, go with the flow. Whatever you fancy, it's uh, no problem. And I, I was going for a sea greenish, bluish kind of idea, so that's what you see happening here. Uh, lighten it up in various places uh, by using the teal color. Now make sure that everything is covered so that you don't see any white or any pink anymore on that cover and then done not quite of course I'm just spraying it with a little bit of um, dilutions and glimmer mist 
um, in the same color so the greenish uh, a bit of the blue and a little bit of the yellow that goes well with the blue and make it green of course um, now I'm filling up the edges with uh, a mixture made of uh, dark uh, blue uh, paint and uh, modeling paste, a thin modeling paste. Uh, it looks like a bit of a cement idea. So I'm going uh, around the cover of the book and uh, make it a bit spiky, but I really needed to um, no, well, cover up the edges because it was... No, not nice. You could see it was cardboard and I didn't like that. So that's how I fix that. Go in between some places to make sure it looks nice. And it it is a good color because I'm going to colorize it later to get a bit of a dark edge. And you won't see any gray anymore. So um, coloring the inside of the book with the dark. I really love this dark blue. And you see I am painting the edge as well and I'm rubbing it with my fingers. Uh, first I thought I would do it with a tissue but it didn't work. So I'm rubbing it in with my fingers on top of the cover to make it blend and then you get a nice edge. I'm not painting, painting but just slightly touching my brush touching the cover with my brush. Oh you know and then I'm smudging it with my, my finger to make it blend now inside is done outside is done almost uh, I, left, I left every painting bit in so now I thought it needed more color so now I'm going with different kinds of colors um, I have got the the purple that you see so I go over that as well I thought I would do only the, the flowers but I'm uh, rubbing it with my fingers on top of the lace that I put on um, as I would do with the gold with the ink gold that you saw uh, see me use frequently and now I'm just colorizing the edges the flowers kind of like a shading idea uh, it brings a bit more color into the cover and I like that uh, that purple paint now and now I couldn't stop so <laughs> putting even more on <laughs> now oh, looks kind of good I dry in it completely and then I go in with this is um, a distress stain from a uh, ranger or yeah ranger um, and it's a gold and I'm it's quite fluid so I can use it quite well to colorize the um, the flowers and I thought oh I might just use it to go over the lacy bits as well. First I tried it with my brush. Didn't work. Rania needs to use her fingers. <laughs> I need to feel it. So go over with the gold as well. Couldn't resist doing that. And it works quite well with the distress stain. It, it does leave us a light golden shimmer on it. You can't see that well. I will post uh, pictures on my blog later and I will list, I try not to forget, I say it often, I list uh, the products that I've used. Now I put some crackle accents on the flowers. You can't see it that well but you'll see it in the end. It gives a little bit of crackle um, but uh, still didn't like it. So uh, looking for what color to use and I'm staying in the the same color scheme. So I'm taking this is Glimmer Glam in gold. I needed to shake it quite well and I put it in the heart of the flowers. Um, I, I've put some uh, of those um, pearl, flat up pearl thingies in the center of the flowers as you can see here. I forgot to mention it. And this is my favorite product. This is the um, uh, iridescent uh, colors and this is the um, uh, violet and I'm going over various places and it really shines and gives a very nice gloss everywhere I really like that stuff and uh, it starts to come together doesn't it now 
could you imagine that this was pink and white before? <laughs> Uh, here are the butterflies again, and I really wanted to make sure that they were contrasting colors, so um, it was a bit too light for my taste, so I'm uh, just touching it up with a bit of that uh, uh, purple, uh, purple paint. And you can colorize these things with, uh, with everything, it's no, no problem at all. And then putting my, and I really like the contrast in, in colors, but it was a bit too too much so and then he changes her mind quite often as you know all I'm I'm talking in a third person really <laughs> um, I am gluing it down with glossy accents and uh, well you know I took the center of the butterfly out so I had to make myself a new center and I chose to use one of those uh, teardrop uh, shaped blingy things <laughs> um, well the pink doesn't match at all so I colorized it with ink uh, with ink of gold with alcohol ink as you can see here this is the the denim and uh, it's quite dark and I thought oh cool. I'm going to put it on the wings as well go in with a brush uh, um, to make sure that it goes where I want it to and um, well, looking at it, you can see me looking at it, thinking, uh, not, 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 not good. More of the same color. That this really, I th I believe that that makes the difference. And then I'm going in with the, I think it's the raspberry, uh, just on the top, and then I'm finished. So I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment if you like, and go over to Fiona's shop if you want. Bye-bye, everyone.